bent. With only a few days remaining before Canadians head to the ballot box, it's up to the NDP leader to beat a nine-point spread in the polls. So today, he was in British Columbia, then he went on to Saskatchewan and Alberta, three provinces in one day in a desperate bid to win votes. The latest polls show that a majority win for the NDP is out of reach, but the party leader refuses to contemplate that possibility in public. Wendy Vreekin spent the day with the Broadbent campaign. Hi. And my favorite Vancouver Centre, Karen. How are you? Speaking? Welcome good. to Vancouver Centre. It's good to be so here. wonderful that Ed Broadbent began his day in Vancouver Centre, where he was supposed to Main Street with Johanna Den Hertog. But the combined crowd of the two candidates' entourage and the media was intimidating. So it was up to Broadband to take the initiative. Very good to meet you. Uh, have a good day. And you too. Uh, why don't I do some work? All right, do some work. All right. All right. Sir? This is, a, this is a rare sign. This is a politician that's working. This is the image the NDP leader likes to portray, champion of the average Canadian. Today, he carried that theme along to his second appearance in Coquitlam, where he bought ice cream at a local restaurant. Why this particular restaurant? Because an informal poll there showed overwhelming support for the NDP. We're doing really well. We're licking them here, Ed. <laughs> in Surrey, the NDP leader met more party supporters and took aim at the opposition by claiming that both parties would impose higher taxes on lower and middle-income Canadians. That the only party that is working day in and day out for average families, whether it's in the tax system or anything else, whether it's standing up for independence against this deal, or anything else that's of concern to ordinary people, it's New Democrats. Take that message, and to use an old phrase, you'll be bringing home the bacon on November 21st. Thank you very much. Some NDPers are openly talking about losing the election and winning a place in a coalition government. But Broadbent refuses to address that question. Would the NDP be satisfied with holding the balance of power in a minority government if that were the case after election night? We would be satisfied with winning. Canadians head to the polls. And while the party is confident it will win many seats here in B.C., federally it may have to settle for the balance of power in a minority government. In cameraman is NDP leader Ed Broadbent supposedly campaigning on Robson Street near Thurlow. But few voters could even get close to him. Oh, there's a fellow. Hello. Good, Good morning. morning. <laughs> say, say hi. Goodbye, all of us. It all lasted barely 30 minutes, just long enough for the pictures. And then Broadbent was off to Coquitlam for another media event. We're doing really well. We're licking them here, Ed. <laughs> This time it's an ice cream parlor with its own poll showing the NDP in the lead. So more pictures, and even campaign supporters find it hard to get through. Yeah, we got some campaign workers. Could the press go back a little bit here? Just go back a little bit. Maybe I was... Yeah, come on in here. We want to get a picture. And then he's off, before even his ice cream cone gets finished. Go. George is trying to get you. Can you answer him, please? I sure can as soon as I move away from this camera that's pointed in my face. <laughs> Supporters in Surrey voters at his last campaign stop in B.C. strained once more to have a peek. The NDP leader defended his campaign style. On election, une visite faite sur mesure pour les caméras. Jaywalking is probably a ticket in Vancouver. A commencé par un bain de foule sur la rue Robson, où les journalistes étaient plus nombreux que les partisans. Un appui important pour Johanna Den Hertog, qui mène une lutte serrée dans Vancouver Centre. Puis c'est chez Ian Waddell, qui lui aussi est dans une circonscription difficile, celle de Port Moody, Coquitlam. Mais il n'y a pas lieu de s'inquiéter, nous dit-on. Un sondage local place le NPD gagnant. And this time it's accurate 20 times out of 20, the ice cream poll. It's the only poll with no statistical error. <laughs> That's right. And we're winning. La Colombie-Britannique est la seule province où le NPD est en tête dans les...